when I was like, like five, six. I, I opened the curtains and outside the window there was a monster, big hairy monster. And did, 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 did like he tell you to do anything? No, I mean I used to get scared, scared a lot. Where's your cousin? Can you have some time? Yes, I look up to him. Because when you're at that age, you know, superheroes, war heroes are like in comic books, TV. This f***ing vicious, mean, strong, you know. I didn't mind seeing all that gore and violence. It was a turn up. It was exciting. He used to say, there's no thrill. Like a good kill. <laughs> and uh, feast on bones. It was a sunny day. I had been with Mike that day, hanging out. And uh, he got to his house about 3 p.m. He went and got that gun from the truck by the refrigerator and got close to her and blew her head off. But she saw everything. It struck me that she was dead, you know, because I knew her pretty good. Death had a very profound effect on me when I saw it. I can still remember going to the, the Capri Theater in El Paso. It was in downtown, and I used to go alone. See, some people go to the theaters to get scared, you know, and they leave them there. <laughs> I took it home. I came to California. I came here to live. And I came looking for a pot of gold, but I found a pot of iron instead. I'd like to know your feelings about uh, what they call the devil's dandruff. Cocaine. I love it. <laughs> Satan is a stabilizing force in my life. It gives me a reason to be an excuse to rationalize. I used to love, you know, the virtue so much, right? I used to dream about this. You dream about it now? Yeah, excitement. Serial killers and killers have the advantage in that they use the element of surprise, darkness, and such things as this. And serial killers and, and most killers in general have a dead conscience. No morals, no scruples. Some of them don't even care whether they live or die themselves. And uh, they are just walking dead. A serial killer is caught up in a, in a frenzy. And, and, uh, and uh, by the time it's over and done with, you'll reflect back on it and wish it had lasted longer. The guy came at me with a, a piece of iron bar, and he hit me once over the head. I turned around, and he swung it again, and he hit me on the wrist. And at that point, I couldn't run anymore. I sat down to take a breather, and I saw the sheriff's patrol car coming down the street, and I knew that, you know, my life was over.